Hi guys, today we've got this flower bunny. I know you guys love working with this kind of yarn. It works very fast and uh, you can make adorable toys very very quickly. So this is the pattern how to make bunny with flower. Of course you will need plush yarn. You will need hook 5.5 mm or any suitable hook you've got. You will need dunny needle, stitch marker and safety eyes and safety nose or you can do embroidery afterwards or any other beads or something else you want to use as eyes and nose. And I will show you how to make magic circle. It will be slowly and you can catch on it. So you hold the tail, twist around two fingers and then insert your hook into this loop, pick the working end, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, like you are making one chain stitch and this is it this is your magic loop or magic circle it's not really any difficult you can just try it again and again I'm sure you can do it I'm making six single crochet or working into magic loop or magic circle six single crochets then you can count your stitches it should be six and then pull the tail do it slowly you don't want to tear it off we are working in continuous circle continuous spiral so it will not be the end of the round uh, we will just continue this is first stitch of second round single crochet in the first stitch and I will use stitch marker to mark the beginning of the round single crochet in the second stitch single crochet in the third stitch single crochet in the fourth stitch fifth and single crochet in the sixth stitch this is the last stitch of round two and this is first leg two rounds of six single crochets first leg you cut the yarn and second leg you will keep this yarn on and we will continue joining second leg so make the second leg exactly the same but don't cut the yarn
again magic circle or magic loop six single crochets this leg I will go slightly faster but you can pause the video and if you doing it together with me that's fine six single crochets then pull the tail round two six single crochets this is very small bunny this is the smallest I could make for you guys it will work very fast lots of magic loops lots of tiny pieces but then we will connect them all together so it's basically at the end you will have to attach hands and attach ears and we will crochet legs body and head all together as one in one piece and when you've got two legs don't cut the yarn of the second leg Let's check we still got six stitches. So chain one between legs, then attaching first leg, you just insert your hook a any stitch you want and just make a single crochet. Continue working around first leg. You should have six single crochet around first leg. first single crochet and it will be the beginning of the round don't forget to place a stitch marker into the first single crochet Sometimes it's not really obvious where is your stitch. So I think this is my stitch. Four, five, six. And you've got one stitch left, so it means that I've miscalculated, you see, so the third one it wasn't the stitch it I've done it wrong so I've deliberately left this yeah it's nothing wrong you can just undo and do this round again it's only six stitches so you should have six stitches around one leg it's not really a big deal but ideally you want uh, your feet your legs to have six stitches the same amount of stitches so six and then it was chain one I want to make one single crochet along this one chain you can pick any uh, any loop somewhere along this chain one stitch make one single crochet and then six stitches, six single crochet along the next leg. You can see that this is where the leg was attaching. So next stitch. This is a little bit tricky part, but uh, you can make six stitches one leg, six stitches the other leg, and uh, one single crochet along the chain on this side. And then it will be one single crochet along the other side of the chain. So ideally it should be 14 stitches 
after you finish this round. And this is where I will make one more single crochet. This is the other side of the chain. And you reach your stitch marker. We've connected both legs. And then 14 single crochets for the next round. One single crochet in each stitch. And this is fourth round. One more round, it will be 14 single crochets, I will make one single crochet in each stitch. Sometimes I go faster because it's just one single crochet in each stitch. If you crochet long, you can pause my video and finish this round. Next round I will watch I will show you how to make invisible decrease. We usually make invisible decrease in amigurumi. It is looks better, you can't really see the holes ideally. So You've done five rounds and this is basically the body. Next round I will start making decrease. And so this is the decrease. Insert your hook into one stitch, pick front loop, then into the next stitch, picking front loop. You've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops, just like you are making single crochet. Yarn over and pull through two. There you are. You've made invisible decrease. Nothing really difficult about it, you just get used to it. One single crochet. And then again invisible decrease. So you're making one single crochet out of two single crochets. And this is decrease. Next one single crochet. And 
and then decrease Sometimes you won't kind of mark, put your thumb on the next stitch. It is um, very easy to lose what stitch you've picked and what stitch you go next. You see, you mark with your nail next stitch and it, it, it will help right, to easier identify the next stitch. and I have two stitches left, I'm making the last decrease. I have nine stitches and this is the body. This is very tiny little rabbit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and where is my nine? It was nine. Okay, so nine stitches and then if you want to make the heads straight away, you will make two single crochet in each stitch and it should have 18. So let's count two in the first, two in the second stitch, two in the third stitch, two in the fourth stitch, two in the fifth, two in the sixth, and seventh, and eight and nines. So it was nine stitches previous round, I just didn't count it right. Okay, so now you have 18 stitches Eighteenth was on a stitch marker. So there you are with eighteen stitches. Next round one single crochet in each stitch. And this is round eight, so it will be four rounds, eighteen single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch. I'm making the head now. This is the largest part of the head where I'm going one single crochet in each stitch for four rounds. I 
5 my h3 more rounds and let's place nose somewhere in the middle and two eyes first you position everything and then when you are happy only then I um, insert safety cups sometimes it's good to place uh, to play with eyes position them a little bit wider, a little bit higher, lower you will find the position you like because the stitches are quite large it's quite um, not very easy to find the position because you don't really have uh, much um, much adjustment this adjustment they are quite large stitches you want to have the same distance between one eye and nose and the other eye and nose right somewhere like this and when you're happy you insert safe, uh, safety pins cups the safety cups they are sold in a pack together with eyes and nose so this is part of the pack really and this is how I insert it I just do it till one click I must point that if you are making this toy for a little child you better do Im uh, embroid the eyes and nose because these safety cups even if they are safety they can be undone by small child so next round I'm making decrease again decrease two stitches decrease next two stitches so it will be the whole round of decreases I had 18 stitches and after this round of decrease I will have 9 stitches and as, as you can see I have inserted some stuffing into legs and little bit to the head I will add some stuffing after this round And this is basically the bone is done. All we will have to make are ears and arms. This is very small pattern guys, so it's very easy to make. Everyone can make it, I'm sure. I have made this bunny in around an hour. Maybe if you don't have much practice, it will take you a couple hours, but I'm sure in one evening you can make it. If you live not far from Aldi, this is German supermarket. They've got lots of this yarn right now. It is a yarn event there in Aldi, in my local Aldi, so check it out. Now I've got small opening left. I will insert the stuffing and cut the yarn. And I will show you how to finish this opening with the needle. I will not crochet anymore. I don't want the pointy head. I want nice and round head. And so after you insert the stuffing, you go with Danny needle all around your stitches. You insert your needle picking the front loop 
then next stitch picking only one loop and going around this is the way how to finish a migurumi usually I would leave six stitches before I finish it, it uh, this way but for this pattern I feel that nine stitches will be just great then you pull and it's kind of uh, giving you nice finish if you still got sli light slightly uh, opening you just uh, run this needle across a couple times trying to fix this hole and it looks great just like this very nice bunny head I'm very happy if you've got long tail you can leave it and attach ears with it or you can take this um, tail down and maybe touch arms with it this is body and the head and then we will be making arms and ears so I will show you again how to make magic loop or magic circle you should agree it's not so difficult to make in this bunny you are making it quite a few times and it's basically not so difficult so you pick the yarn, draw up a loop yarn over and pull through like you are making chain 1 to secure this magic circle this is it and now I'm making five single crochet, five single crochets into magic circle. This is the smallest amount I can make. I can't make smaller, but I felt that uh, it arms should be slightly smaller than legs. That's why five stitches, and I will make two more rounds. Second and third round, it will be five single crochets. So going round and round. I didn't even use stitch marker. I will be just counting one, two, three, four, five. don't forget to insert it inside out um, this way this way round yeah and one more round of five single crochets and you will need to make two arms like this And to finish usually I making slip stitch and chain one to secure the last stitch. Then you hide the tail. My belief the tail if you want to attach the arms with uh, this tail. Two arms. position it on the side of the body
I will attach using this tail I left on one arm using dining needle. Sometimes you want to attach it one arm and then the other arm or if you feel comfortable you can attach from one side to the other side just going through. Don't squash your bunny too hard. You want it to be nice. And so you go round and round one arm, then the other arm. Position them, reposition them and make it look nice. And then we will be making ears. If, if you run out of yarn, you can secure this tail and do it again, again with another yarn. And so, yes, again I'm doing magic loop or magic circle. And again, five single crochets for yes. The pattern for ears will be exactly the same as I ma was making arms, just one round longer. So it will be five single crochets for four rounds. Easy peasy pattern guys. Hope you enjoy it and hope you crochet with me. So five stitches, then Second round, going around five single crochets. Sometimes you start crocheting it this inwards, but then I always um, do these um, stitches uh, like outwards. This is what you do. So keep going five single crochets, one single crochet in each stitch. And this is where I dropped my camera. So now I'm back going around one single crochet in each stitch and you need to make four rounds for ears And after you make it all four rounds, make a slip stitch and chain one to secure this stitch. Hide those tails, you don't need them unless you leave a long tail to use to stitch this ears to the bunny head you need two of them and now let's attach them I still got this long tail
you take the stitch from the ear and then take the stitch from the head and going around holding the ear close to the head don't worry if you position it wonky you can always get it undone and uh, do it again reposition it those are little ears and I saw rabbits with uh, like long very long and flap, floppy ears so if you give different ears to your bunny it will be completely different story for this time I've decided to give him this ears if you want to have larger bunny you can always um, go to hobby crochet icon click videos and um, I've made um, cream yellowish uh, bunny uh, it's a slightly larger pattern I think around maybe a couple months ago if you click to hobby crochet icon then videos you will find lots more amigurumis I have made it is uh, octopus, it is uh, jellyfish and mushrooms and uh, snail and uh, snake. Lots, lots, lots of amigurumis you can, I'm sure you can find something you will like to make. And so these are ears. And um, next I will show you how to make this uh, little flower it's like a flower crown I would say and this is guys my pattern if you can find some similar patterns that is uh, absolutely fine but um, this is just the smallest pattern I can make and I've decided to make a tail like this so with the same end I'm making just a um, bobble and this is the bobble like um, I'm making uh, three unfinished double crochet and then the yarn has finished so you just attach if you're in the same position don't worry don't panic you just make a knot, attaching the yarn and keep going so I want to make a bobble for the tail and bobble it is, uh, as you can see, three unfinished double crochet so then you take the loop and pull it through then make chain one just to secure the stitch and cut the tail hide those little ends, you don't need them and then attach the other side of this bobble with a darning needle you just shape it one stitch into the tail you can use a to uh, pom pom maybe or you can make six single crochets and then attach it just um, lots of different um, ways to do the tail little tail for little bunny this is just what I have made secure the end and cut it off
and there you are let's make flower crown you start with slip knot watch it again what does it remind you like a magic loop right but instead of making chain one you just draw up a loop and pull right and this is slip knot so not very far off away from the magic circle magic loop right and I'm making chain this chain should fit around the head of the bunny I will not tell you amount of stitches because uh, everyone can have different tension it could be around maybe 16, 18 or 20 or 22 you just lay it around your bunny's face maybe pull it slightly, don't make it too loose and then connect it into the ring insert your hook into the first chain stitch pick the yarn and pull it through chain 3 and then puff stitch, yarn over into the loop pick the yarn, pull it out yarn over, pull through two again, yarn over into the loop, into the circle pick up a yarn and pull it out yarn over, pull through two you have three loops on your hook do it once again yarn over into the circle, pick the yarn and pull it out yarn over, pull through two you have four loops on your hook this is it, yarn over and pull through all four loops make three chain stitches and slip stitch to connect this petal to the base to this ring or to this circle like this and this is one flower petal make as many flower petals as you want as you need chain 3 and puff stitch this is exactly the puff stitch we were using to make the tail for the bunny it's like three unfinished double crochets making together I'm using my finger to hold the yarn to make nice and long loops and that those loops are the same high you have four loops, yarn over and pull it through all at once chain three and now you're going down to attach this to the circle you draw up a loop and pull it through slip stitch is the smallest stitch you can find in a crochet and this is the easiest pattern I can make for flower crown So I will be making a few of those puff stitches
I think I saw little chick in this uh, flower crown uh, and this gave me an idea maybe next I can make a little chick you can always put in the comments whatever you want guys to 